Now we are going to start with a process in which we are going to see that how water get uh, transported from soil to the aerial parts of plant. And that whole process is being given a special name that is ascent of sap. So what is ascent of sap? Ascent of sap is the transportation of water or we can say movement also. It is transportation of water from roots to aerial parts of plant, to aerial parts of plant. Now we are going to see that how this phenomena ascent of sap, uh, sap take place. So you know that uh, like first I will just explain you the figure that uh, what is the figure of the leaf and what is the figure of the root actually. So that then only you will be able to understand that how this movement of water is taking place. And along with uh, water minerals are also transported along with water minerals are also transport, transported. So if we will see the structure of uh, root then what happen it consists of an epidermis these are epidermal cells. Right, so, the, this is the layer of, uh, I am just making the diagram for the root. This, these are epidermal cells, they have a thin layer of cuticle, this is root hair, the structure is like this. Right, so this is root hair, this is epidermis, that is epidermal cells. Then we have uh, five layered cortex, that is irregular shaped cells. And along with that we have a xylem vessel. As I told you that xylem vessel is common in the whole plant. That means the xylem vessel of leaf, root and stem, they are actually interconnected, right. So this is the xylem vessel of root and it is running to the, uh, it is being connected to the xylem vessel of the leaf. Now we are going to see that what is the structure for the uh, leaf actually. So leaf consists of again an epidermal cells. These are epidermal cells upper epidermis and lower epidermis, right, it has a thin layer of cuticle, the transparent layer, right, that is cuticle and at some point we know that cuticle is absent and where the cuticle is absent because it, we are a, you can say a kidney shaped cells that is called as uh, the stomata, the guard cells which are called as stomata. So stomatas are there. And uh, we say inside this what we have, uh, so I will write here this is epidermis and even that is epidermis upper and lower, this is cuticle and this is stomata. And we have already discussed that stomatal structure is like this, that means the guard cells and the pore. And uh, the, the things which are inside it is form, uh, they form a mesophyll tissue they form a mesophyll tissue consisting of two kinds of cells, one is palisade and other is spongy. Palisade cells are uh, long like this and spongy cells are irregularly arranged. We discussed this diagram in the photosynthesis like when we were discussing the uh, mechanism of photosynthesis at that time also we did this for the uh, to look uh, the position of the chloroplast because chloroplast this is vacuole, they have vacuole, large vacuole and chloroplast is there, so, right. So we discussed this figure in that also. So here also you can see that the xylem vessel of root is interconnected with the xylem vessel of leaf. So now we are going to see that how the uh, water get transported from soil to the aerial path. So this is soil. Let's say this is soil particles which are having water, right. So actually the you can say the, the, the factor that is responsible for the movement of water and minerals from root to the aerial parts, from roots to the aerial part is uh, the mechanism involved is transpiration pull. That is transpiration pull. Now we are going to see that, that how this transpiration pull actually work and how the movement of water take place. So what happens that uh, we know that uh, during daytime there is sun that is sun shines and due to which this stomatal pore open, this pore gets open. So when it gets open there is loss of water vapor from the stomata. There is loss of water vapor, right, like that. there is loss of water vapor. That means the transpiration is occurring. What is occurring? Transpiration is taking place. So that means water is being uh, continuously removed through stomata. 
so when the uh, water from the guard cells finish so they will withdraw water from the epidermal cells and when the uh, so the water will move from epidermal cells to stomata and when the so now the water concentration is less in the epidermal so they will withdraw water from the underlying cells that is from the spongy cell it will withdraw from more underlying cells so they will withdraw water like this so ultimately the water will be withdrawn from the xylem vessel of leaf because xylem vessel of leaf is responsible for the for supplying the water so ultimately the water is going to move from xylem vessel of leaf to spongy and to epidermal and through stomata it is uh, evaporated into atmosphere so now due to this the uh, you can say that uh, the water pressure or you can say that osmotic pressure also so water pressure in the xylem vessel of leaf will fall down it will decrease because water uh, water has moved from this to this so that means the water level of xylem vessel of leaf falls down but still the uh, you can say that water pressure in the xylem vessel of root is high so in order to cover uh, the uh, you can say that uh, cover the uh, this thing like water is less here water is more here so obviously water will move from higher concentration to lower to fulfill that demand so as a result the osmotic pressure or you can say the water pressure of the root will now fall because the water has moved from this place to this place so obviously uh, this thing the water pressure will be less in xylem uh, vessel of root so because the pressure is low here so it will withdraw water from this cortex cell this cortex this this layer will withdraw water from the underlying cells so they will withdraw water like this and finally the water is passed from soil into the uh this thing root here root here to epidermis epidermis to cortex cell cortex cell to root from root to the uh, xylem vessel of leaf and from leaf spongy cells epidermal and through stomata it is being evaporated so that means this is the pool which is formed as you can see that during sun uh, when the sun shines only then the stomatal pore open and only then the transpiration take place so the water pressure becomes low in uh, this thing uh, the stomata they will withdraw water from these cells they will withdraw water from the underlying cells ultimately water is being drawn from the xylem vessel of the leaf so water uh, you can say the pressure which is due to water in the xylem vessel of leaf will fall to cover that uh, difference the water will move from the xylem vessel of root to the leaf because they are interconnected so when the pressure will fall uh, down in case of root they will withdraw water from their underlying cells and finally the suction pump you can say is created which is uh, taking water from the soil and transporting to all aerial plant parts so this is what is in a scent of sap so this is actually uh, you can say responsible for the transportation of water that how the water and minerals move from uh, this thing uh, the uh, from soil to the aerial parts so this is what is a scent of sap